devotion for Monday, March 4th, 2024. In the Brave and Daily Text, the watchword for today says, The Lord is a refuge for his people, a stronghold for the people of Israel. Joel 3 and verse 16b. The accompanying doctrinal text says, The blind beggar cried out even more loudly, Son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus stood still and said, Tell me, Mark 10, 48-49. In this season of Lent, let us hear what God would say to us through today's watchword taken from Joel chapter 3 and verse 60. The Lord is a refuge for his people, a stronghold for the people of Israel. The preceding verses, 14 and 15, and even the first part of 16, presents images of light growing dim and dark. It speaks of our Lord God's roar being heard from the distance and of the heaven and earth shaking. Sounds like a terrible time, doesn't it? Are we lost? Feel doomed? But then verse 16 ends with a calm assurance. It says, The Lord will be a shelter for his people and the strength of the children of Israel. What a message of hope in the face of frightening times and moments. That's what this verse brings to us today. When we look around and we listen to the news and we move about our community, and we feel discomforted. Remember this verse. Consider the children of Israel who had cities of refuge identified for their protection. And once they were inside that city, they were safe from retribution. They were protected by the very presence and embrace of this city of refuge. It was a safe haven for them. God wants to remind us in the midst of the turmoil around us, He is that safe haven for us. And we too can feel protected by the very presence and embrace of our loving Lord and Savior, our place of refuge. That is what God is for us. This word from the prophet Joel gives us reassurance that God can and will provide a safe haven for his people. And we know he did. Throughout the Bible, we can find God's word of reassurance. We just have to pick up that good holy book, dust it off, and read it. And we will find his love letters of hope to our hearts. The psalmist said in chapter 46, God is a refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth be removed, though the mountains be carried in the midst of the seas, though the waters roar and be troubled, though the mountains shake with the swelling thereof. Selah. Stop and listen. God is in the midst of her. It goes on again. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Selah. Stop and listen. And in De Deuteronomy, we see the declaration in chapter 33. The eternal God is your refuge and beneath you are the everlasting arms. How precious! Especially so when we feel overwhelmed by our circumstances. Know that God is there as a refuge and a stronghold. Allow that revelation to waft over us in calm assurance. He is here. And though I slip, He is here for me. And though you slip, He is there for you. A very present help in trouble. Though the circumstances roar about us, His everlasting arms are beneath us and we can feel safe 
in the midst of the tempest. The prophet Joel points us to think on Jesus, who is that safe haven for us today. And Jesus demonstrated this by giving the ultimate protection when he died for us, our safe haven from the retribution of our own sin. Through Jesus' sacrifice, we no longer have to pay the penalty for sin. He paid a debt he did not owe because I owed a debt I could not pay. Thank you, God, for thinking of me and making this provision of refuge for my sake. The Lord Jesus is indeed a refuge for his people and a stronghold for the people of Israel. Let us pray. Dear Lord, thank you for being our refuge and strength in times of trouble, even those created by our own hands. Thank you for the hope of your presence through it all. Thank you for the comfort we feel in your everlasting arms as we feast on your word. Help us, Lord, to trust you in all times, seasons, and circumstances. In Jesus' name.